Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Uh, my name is Sam Banak and you are watching my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the true GitOps way where we'll be combining the crossplane, Argo CD and the application set so that you can have your infrastructure in Git repository as well. And as soon as it is committed, the cluster will be provisioned using Argo CD. And once we register that cluster with Argo CD, the application set will be used to deploy a set of applications to that newly created cluster automatically. So we'll try to kind of do a true GitOps stuff in this particular video. And this will be a pure hands-on demo video. If you want to learn more about Crossplane, Argo CD, uh, there are a bunch of videos, CNCF minutes and the deep dives on my channel already. So you can uh, go and check them out. Before starting, this video is brought to you by Armo, Cloud Casa, Commodore, Robusta, Sysdig, Speedscale, Suborbital, Slim AI, and Teleport. Let's get started. First, we'll create a SIBO Kubernetes cluster. Let's name it True GitOps. We'll leave everything as default, medium size, and select Argo CD from the marketplace applications. Why the cluster is getting created, let's uh, check out the GitHub repositories we'll be using. So this is a simple GitHub repository, KCD Chinnai, which is there. I'll use the same GitHub repository. So in infrastructure, we have some YAML files, which represents a cross-plane resource, CVO Kubernetes resource. It is having a spec section, which gives the name of the cluster, the size of the cluster, and if any applications you need to install, and uh, the CVO provider is being used, the CVO cross plane provider, which we'll be installing on the Kubernetes cluster in a moment once it's ready. Uh, the next is the Argo demo. Uh, so this is the application that we'll be deploying onto the cluster. So the application set that we'll be creating is this particular repository. And in this particular repository, uh, what, what happens is uh, there's a GitHub Actions, which is for build and push the Docker image. So what it is doing is as soon as any change is there uh, inside the code, it will be building the repository, uh, building the code, uh, pushing it to Docker registry, my Docker uh, Hub account, and then it will be tagging that and changing the deploy uh, hello.yaml file and the deploy hello.yaml file will be the one that we'll be watching in the application set. So deploy folder, uh, hello.yaml, this will be uh, the image that will automatically be updated. And as soon as this will be updated, the Argo CD will be monitoring the deployment file over here, and it will make the necessary changes across the clusters via the application set. So our cluster is ready. Let's download the kubeconfig file. Go to the terminal and increase the font size, export cube config cube CTL get nodes. So nodes are ready. Let's check out the, the pods. So cube CTL get pods hyphen A. So we have um, the Argo CD and, and all the pods for that running. Uh, we have the application set controller, which is part of the installation. Uh, we'll quickly change the service to load balancer. So kubectl get svc Argo CD. And let's change the server. CTL edit svc. Load balancer. And we'll install crossplane on that for installing crossplane to the Kubernetes cluster and the provider installation. Let's go to the docs. So these are the docs. Um, we already have Kubernetes cluster. We'll install crossplane. Let's create the namespace. And the helm install i already have added the repository so the cross plane is installed 
now let's install uh, the CLI. Should have the CLI, but we can run it. So kubectl crossplane CLI is installed. Now let's install the CVO crossplane provider. So we go to the CVO crossplane provider documentation, provide a CVO. We come down and we install the provider. So the provider is created. So this particular Kubernetes cluster has Argo CD and Crossplane installed. Now let's log into the Argo CD console. Kubectl will get SVC hyphen in Argo CD. And we have this. Let's log in, let's get the password. This is the command um, used to get the password. Let's copy, paste, sign in. And this is our Argo CD UI. Uh, we'll create one application via the UI and we'll call it infra. So this will be basically for creating the infrastructure. So any teams want to create the infrastructure, they will be put into this repository and uh, Argo CD will deploy that YAML file onto in cluster, which is this cluster. So automatic policy and source repository URL will be this path will be infra cluster url namespace can be default let's click on create so it is there it is synced what is there in the infra repository now now infra repository has the cluster yaml files which has the cross plane stuff which I explained earlier. What we'll do is we will be creating the clusters by directly committing to this repository and it will automatically create the cluster. So Argo CD will automatically apply onto our, you can say control plane Kubernetes cluster or the base Kubernetes cluster. And since the cross plane and CO provider is automatically created over there, the cluster will be uh, created. Before that, I need to apply the provider.yaml file as well. So this is how the provider.yaml file looks like. Uh, it is having, it is a secret where you have to give your CBO token and you have to give the provider config. So now I'll add the CBO token over here and then I'll be creating the provider. Let's create the provider. And if we do a uh, kubectl get CBO Kubernetes, since we sync the Argo repository, so all four clusters will be getting created. Uh, but we'll show you the new cluster creation process as well, how it goes. We'll be going to uh, the infra repository and we'll be creating a cluster five dot YAML. And let's name it. through infra provision and remove the applications you need it and save it now hold on just before creating the cluster let's go back and let's go to the deploy folder and create the application set this is the application set that we are going to create. What this means, this means that we are using one of the generators. We have multiple generators which are there. We are using the cluster generators of application set. That means uh, this particular application from this repository, Argo demo, the deploy folder will be deployed to all the clusters that are connected to this Argo CD. So let's find out what, what all clusters are actually connected to this Argo CD server. So if we go to our Kubernetes cluster, we 
we create the service, um, the Argo CD service and the load balancer, and this is the DNS for that. So let's do Argo CD login to the Argo CD server. Seed username, and we need to get the password. So let's get the password. So we are logged in successfully, and now let's do Argo CD cluster list. We have only one successful cluster. Now let's create the application set. It's created. Let's go back to the Argo CD applications and we can see that in cluster Argo CD is already progressing. So it, it will be automatically creating for this particular cluster because one is connected. Now let's create a new cluster and connect that to Argo CD. So in order to create a new cluster, we'll follow the true GitOps approach and we'll push the file to the infra repository, which is the cluster file. So let's do a git add get push so it is pushed let's go to the repository refresh we have cluster 5 let's come here go to the infra and you can see true infra provisioning a few seconds ago it automatically synced let's see kubectl get sevo kubernetes and the cluster is being created perfect now we'll wait for two minutes and download the cube config file and add that cluster to argo cd so our kubernetes cluster is ready true infra provision let's download the cube config file Now let's run kubectl get sevo kubernetes and we have the true infra provision cluster is active now we need to add this cluster to argo cd for that we'll be running a command argo cd cluster add the cluster name and the cube config file and to which server it needs to be added to so we press enter yes and it will be creating a service account cluster role cluster role binding and then add it to the Argo CD. So the cluster is added to Argo CD. Now let's go back to the Argo CD console and see if our application set created the application for it. And you can see the true infra provisioning Argo demo. The application is already getting deployed to this particular cluster. We can check that. CTL get pods. The app is deployed. CTL get SVC. It's on this port. So let's run it and see. And yes, so we have the application already running. Now we can edit the application and see it getting changed across the clusters automatically using the GitOps approach that is over here. So this GitHub Actions will automatically change this file. This file is being monitored by the applications or from the application set. The applications got created and that is monitoring this deploy folder. So anything new from here will be deployed on the clusters. So let's do that. Let's change the color maybe to red and commit.
Now it has started running the GitHub Actions. And once it will be completed, we'll be able to see a new file committed over here. Now you can see the hello.yaml file in the deploy folder just got changed. Now let's go back to the Argo CD UI. And we can see that the applications are getting synced and progressing. Now let's check the applications. And we can see the color got changed. So this was the complete demo that, that I had for you where I showed you the power of Crossplane, uh, Argo, GitOps, the true way infrastructure and the application provisioning. I hope you liked it. I'll drop all the links in the chat so you can try on your own. Again, so thanks to all the sponsors. Uh, this video is brought to you by Armo, uh, Cloud Casa, Commodore, Robusta, Sysdig, Speedscale, Suborbital, SlimAI and Teleport. So these people support the community and my work, and it would be great if you can check out all the links, all the work that these people are doing and, uh, you know, block them out, check their GitHub repositories, open source contribution, try their products, their free trials, uh, because that they should also get something out for supporting the community. Uh, so thank you again for all the sponsors and thank you so much to you for watching this video till here. If you are till here, then thank you so much. Please join Cube Simplify, try out this demo, give a shout out on Twitter that you liked it and you tried on your own as well. Uh, the true GitOps using a Crossplane and Argo um, and SIBO Kubernetes. So thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and share this video as much as you can. See you in the next one.